What up, green kitties? Meow, meow. How's everybody doing this Sunday? Well, leave me alone, y'all. I wasn't able to get my hair done yesterday. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment down below. So, I'm just checking in with my with my lovely... Like, y'all, look at my little curls. I get my hair cut today. Today's Sunday. My barber said 2 o'clock. So, I hope that I'm able to get it cut today. Yesterday, I was not able to get it cut. But hopefully, I can. Hope you guys can hear me. I'm at home. All my kids are home. So, hopefully, and everybody can hear me. Anyway, you guys. I just wanted to give some updates and let you guys know. And I want to do a story time. Okay? This is going to be my first story time on here. So, I want to do a story time. And it's just something that just happened, y'all. And I thought this shit was hilarious. It's a, it was a learning experience for me. And everything that I go through, I like to tell y'all. Because either A, y'all know about it and y'all can give me advice. Or either B, y'all don't know about it. And I'm telling y'all. Or it's just a cackle, a key. Either which way. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I got a mask on. And my kids are watching Avengers. And I got moving around kids. So, excuse me if you can't hear me. Hopefully, you should be able to hear me. Anyway, y'all, make sure you guys like, comment down below, subscribe, all those beautiful things. So, um, and hopefully everybody is do, did okay this weekend and ready for the week. Getting prepared for the week. I'm getting prepared for the week. Um, yeah. So, let's get into the story time. So... Y'all know my kids started school, right? Okay, y'all know how I feel about school. Any of my old heads know I'm not big on school. Not, I didn't say learning, okay? For the bitches in the back who don't know how to listen. I didn't say learning. I said school, okay? Um, this, you know, I just feel like the school system sometimes be tripping. You know what I'm saying? So, I, the way I feel about it is the way I feel about it, okay? And with that being said, though... Um, my kids liked it, the school, everything going good. Now, mind you, I live in a predominantly middle-class African-American neighborhood, okay? So, it's a little, a little step up than the ghetto. It's not, but it's black, everywhere is black. But it's well-to-do black people, okay? So, of course, the school has to be black people, Okay? If you're in a predominantly black neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Then majority will be African-American, Hispanics, maybe a couple of whites, whatever. So anyway, make a long story short, let's get into it. So, um, the office people, they always calling me, like I said, wanting a fundraiser, this and that. Kids, they, they need this, they need that, whatever the case may be, right? So I've directed, because I don't fuck around with schools and shit. I directed certain people to deal with my my kids' school. So my husband will deal with picking them up if they get sick or whatever. I choose not to deal with nobody at the school. Number one, like I said, they're African American. They got a lot of flavor. I'm really not into it. And so I try to avoid situations. So my husband does the face-to-face. My grandmother does the phone calls. That means I gave her, I gave them her contact. Anything goes on, they contact her. My grandma contacts me. I have left myself completely out of it because I don't do well with schools. Okay? It could be trauma from my past. I don't know. Okay? I, I believe it is. I believe it's trauma and a lot of other shit. But, um, and I'll go into why, what I believe about schools and all that another time. So, anyway... I have did that for a reason. I have separated myself out of it, right? So, boom. Now, mind you, I've been homeschooling my kids all the way. My eldest son is 10 years old, and this was his first year. Last year was his first year going to school, okay? Now, they have went to school for, like, they went to school one time, and then I took them out. And I'll tell you about that story time later. And I haven't put them back in. And they had only went there like a month, right? So I don't want to count that as really going to school. So this is their first time really going to school. And my son is 10. So the whole time I've been home studying my kids, right? So I really don't know the flow of what the schools, even how they move or function. 
So, um, I guess the nurses in the school is everything. They they a doctor, they a dentist, they a motherfucking eye doctor, they every fuck the hearing doctor. They I don't know how one motherfucking nurse is all of this. I don't understand it at school, but she is. So she kept co contacting me about the kids needing glasses, or they needing to get you know they need glasses, right? Now I know that two of them may possibly need glasses because they squint. Well. I made some appointments due to corona, due to shit. Normally, when I make appointments, I try to get at least two to three kids in one appointment. At least. I don't like doing single kid appointments. For the simple fact of it is a hassle. Okay? And you guys know that I've been trying to get my foster kids. So I've been really, really busy. A lot of people know I've been dealing with my house in Vegas. So it's just a lot right now not saying that my kids are not important but what i'm saying is what's important goes first and what's kind of can wait can wait this bitch been calling me for like five months right i told her listen i got it i'm gonna get it done now i got one kid done which was amir we're gonna go to the next in the process of that other things has happened so make a long story short okay time go on time go on last week my kids are, you know, and, and number one, let me say this. My kids are always getting sick, y'all. Always getting a cold, y'all. Like, never before, okay? Now, mind you, every time I've had my kids, the whole time of them not going to school, they have never gotten sick. I don't get sick. My husband don't get sick. My kids don't get sick. Do you understand me? Every blue moon, you may catch a nose running. Every blue moon, you may catch up. Uh, hold on, what? One or two. Okay, go ahead. And don't play in the bathroom. Okay. Every blue moon you may catch a little <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you don't we don't we don't do that. Since I put them in school, it seemed like every fucking month these kids can y'all see? This light is kinda of bright. Hold on y'all. Every let's see here. Okay. Every month I don't like the way that looks. Every month, uh Okay, every freaking month, my kids been getting sick. Now, mind you, it's a trickle effect. Because when they get sick, then I get sick. Then my husband gets sick. Then my grandmama gets sick. It's just been horrible, okay? That been making me mad, too. But everybody keep telling me it's because your kids haven't been with other, around other kids. Their bodies will adjust. Their bodies will adjust. So I'm like, I hope somebody's calling me i hope y'all can still hear me i'm gonna be mad if i make this video because last video i made i was talking somebody had called me and y'all couldn't hear shit i said i hope y'all can anyway so um where did i leave off at so everybody keeps telling me that you know the kids will adapt to to other people dirty ass kids basically so i'm waiting for my kids to adapt with these dirty ass kids okay and it ain't happening so far as quick as I would like for it to happen. So, okay, boom. So anyway, my daughter was sick last week. Well, not all of them was sick last week. But my daughter was sick last night, last week. Not only that, I got my new foster kid. And since he's home, it seemed like they all wanted to be home, right? I'm getting calls like every other day that somebody's sick. And I'm like, hold up. Now, because normally when they do get sick, you know, due to this being at school, they thug it out. All of a sudden, now they got the office calling. Like, what? So my grandma calling me like, you know, woo, woo, sick, go get the baby. I've been sending my husband to do it. I, he's the person that, like I said, does the face-to-face because -face I don't fuck with the school. So, make, so this particular day, I'm feeling pretty good. Plus, you know, I'm trying to get my other kids in school. So, and I wanted my foster kid to go to the same school my kids go to. So I had to be face-to-face -face with these people. They know that. So as soon as they get me in the office, y'all, they're like, oh, can I talk to you for a minute? I'm like, here we go. So the first motherfucker that came and talked to me early that morning, that's, okay, let me pause that. That's before my daughter got sick. That morning, I had to go up there because I'm trying to put my foster kid in school. So I, hold on one second. John! John, hurry up out that bathroom. You close the door, wash your hands, what? Okay. 
Okay, John, you're not going. John, I'm not playing with you no more. Go sit down. No, you can't get nothing. Which everybody can do is sit down. Is John sitting down? No. John. John, get off my bed and sit down. Are you doing it now? John. What did I tell you? Thank you. You guys, cut it out. So, um, where was I at? Okay, so as soon as I go in for the first time to put, you know, to put my foster kid in school, um, a, black, a man come out, which is a counselor, attendance counselor, right? He like, oh, can I talk to you for a minute? Can I talk to you for a minute? I'm like, yeah, okay, what, what's up? So remember, you guys know, I had to go to Vegas in December, but I had already told them that I was gonna be gone for a week with my kids. I already texted the teacher, told the teacher, emailed the teacher. Everybody knew for one whole week, my kids was not gonna be there because I had to go to Vegas. Now mind you, since they started school in August, I don't miss days, I don't play that. Matter of fact, I love when they go to school. I encourage the shit, right? So I'm not big on kids missing school. So he went, but when I, so I did the one week when we went to Vegas, but out there in that cold, they got sick. So they had missed the two days, the two weeks in school because the first week they were in Vegas. Second week they got sick. I couldn't bring them to school. I don't bring my kids, if they running nosy, I don't bring them to school because I don't want other kids to get sick. You get what I'm saying? I wish other parents did that. Therefore, my kids wouldn't be getting sick so fucking much. But I understand people got to go to work or whatever, and they can't keep their kids home. I can't. So I kept my kid home, kids at home the whole week. So he wanted to tell me about that. He wanted to, you know, is it, ex you know, he wanted to try to excuse the absences or whatever. Okay, boy, I already told you, da da da, da move forward. So boom, they, okay, so now we're trying to get my, my foster kid in school. Now it's a little different with him because he's autistic. Uh, that's another story time. I'll tell you about that, how to put in a, to how to get an autistic kid in school is real difficult, but moving forward. So I gave them my number to call me because they had to go like see where he is and this and that far as in the, you know, how far, how autistic is he really? And they had, they needed more information. So I gave them my number. Now they only supposed to be calling me about John. They not supposed to be calling me about none, none, nobody else. Cause I gave them direct contact. Who the fuck to talk to about my kids. So the school calls me until they end up calling me instead of my grandmother and told me to ride was not feeling well. She had a headache. So I'm like, okay. So I'm like, well, I'll go get her. I'll go get her. Everything in my gut told me to have my husband go get her. But I was like, nah, I did pretty good. You know what I'm saying? They didn't really get on my nerves too much. You know, so I can do it again. I pull up, I go, I get out the car, get take job, you know, take my foster kid with me. We go into the office. Soon as I walked in the office, my spirit said, this ain't gonna go well. John, John, take a seat. This is not gonna go right. So I go in the office, I, I'm starting to sign my daughter out. She not downstairs yet. Here come the nurse. Now the nurse is a white Australian lady, right? So here come the nurse talking about, can I talk to you for a minute? I'm so tired of people. Cause now that they, they know I don't fuck with them, right? They know I don't fuck with the office, none of that. So when they get, when they see me, girl, everybody wanna come and talk to me. What do you want? I'm giving y'all people to talk to because the people that y'all talk to have the type of patience and hearing and understanding that I don't have, okay? So she like, well, I'm, I'm in the office, I'm stuck. So I'm like, yeah, what's up? So it seemed like she already wanted to talk to me and told the principal because the principal was already moving shit out the seats for me to sit down. I told her, you don't gotta do that. I ain't gonna be here long, what's up? So this is where it had went left when she started doing this shit. Well, when she started putting her hand, her two hands in the middle of her breast, in the middle of the seep of her breast, in the middle of her chest, like she's concerned, that right there don't do well with me. Okay, that don't do well with me, bra. You wasted my time. All that sentimental shit, girl. Go somewhere with that shit. Anyway, so she's like, so the kids still have not 
um, you know, don't have their glasses and teachers are coming to me. I said, well, the teachers are coming to you. Why haven't a teacher came to, and talked to me? Why would they come to you? Why are the teachers not coming to talk to me if there is that? Now, mind you, when they said that, when I took my baby son, the doctor said he don't need no glasses. I mean, it's optional if you want to get them. Not saying that's for all my kids, but lady, you don't even, you know what I'm saying? You said that he needed them too, and, I, and he didn't need them. You know what I'm saying? It's optional. So, and I don't know how you guys are testing them. You guys, I don't know nothing about what you're doing for you. You know what I'm saying? So, when I knew that the other one really kind of didn't need it, I didn't really, you know, put it out there like that. Especially, I made appointments around the holidays when they told me, remember, it was Thanksgiving, it was Christmas, so I couldn't. So, this year, I'm beginning. They all going to the doctor, then that, then that. So, I, you know, so I'm letting her know, like, I got you. You know, it'll be getting done. Well, because I'm, stop, John, come here. Come here, John, come sit down right here with me. No, 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 no. Come. Did you hear me? So, I'm like, um, so I'm like, so she's like, well, I have to put a time limit on it. I said, no, you don't gotta put no time limit on nothing with me. I don't need no time limit. What are you talking about? Like, well, it's because I'm really, cause I said, listen, ma'am, all this concern you talking about going somewhere with all that, you know, and that's when it just took off left. And then she said, because I don't want to have to um, report it to the to, to, to child services. Now, that's when I went ballistic. That's when I went left. That's when my brain had left my body at that moment. Because I felt like she was using her power, you know, using her license to, number one, put fear over me. Because she knows, don't nobody want no motherfucking police getting called. And then number two, she sees that I got this baby with me, which is my foster parent. She knows that he's not mine because I told y'all he's Caucasian. So you see that and you would say that. So immediately, check my kids out of school. I don't want to hear, no, nah, you know, I, you, huh, now I'm off. I'm off my rocker. I'm on 100. It ain't no bringing me down, okay? I'm about as ignorant as ignorant can get up in this schoolhouse. And I'm trying not to do that because y'all know that people are shooting up the school and shit. And I don't want the police to be fucking with me, you know? So I'm like, you know what? Check all my kids out. Check them out. Check them out. I don't care. Check them out. Da, 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 da. Bring them all down. Check them out. Check them out. I don't care. I'm good on you, white lady. Da, 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 da. You use, you, you know, you're using your power of authority. Da, 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 da. You, are you putting a cover up on? If not, that's too grown. Like, come on. A cover-up, a jacket, a, a sweater, a, a cover-up, something like that. You know, yeah, you should, unless you want to go to work and get a job. Those those clothes are for, for people that want to go to work. So anyway, my bad, y'all. It's I hope y'all can hear me. It's a little loud. So anyway, I'm let me hurry with my story. So now, mind you, John, sit down. So mind you though, y'all, like I told y'all, I don't deal with the school system. So I didn't know nothing about what I was going to get into. I knew nothing, but they knew it, okay? They knew what I was going to go through. I didn't know. And I'm mad about that. In hindsight, I'm mad because they knew, and they should have told me, like, look, don't take your kids out. It's going to be a difficult process going to other schools they knew because this is what they do this is their profession is what I, they did they went to college right but they didn't they did not and i'm not blaming them i'm just making an observation speaking on it john come say i don't care do something else again that i told you not to do you keep knocking my phone down i've asked you to sit down already i'm not gonna tell you again okay if i tell you again you're not going nowhere you hear me if you keep doing what you want, you're not going to go nowhere. Period. I know. It's me. Alright. Alright. So, make a long story short. Amir, what are you doing? Where's Zariah? Zariah! Come here. Where are you? Where are you? Okay. Uh, Amir, can you go find you something to do? Yeah. Go. Bye-bye. Uh,
Bye. Go lock it back. It's probably gonna be a part two, it look like. Yeah, it's gonna be a part two. Yeah, I'm gonna do a part two. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. So where I was at was when I leave here on my part two, I was at they I didn't know what I was gonna get myself into when I said get all my check all my kids out of school. I had no clue what I was gonna go through, y'all. I had no clue. None at all. I thought because let me say this, when I was young, my mama put me in a lot of schools. That's why I know so many people. I went to schools that I didn't even live at, live in the neighborhood. I went to all, I went to all the Carson schools and I don't remember her having the problem that I had, her have. I don't remember ever that. Now I was young, but I, I mean, I would have known. I did not remember, I mean, it was no problem. And she was just taking me out just to be taking me out. Honey, when I thought I could do that, in 2023, baby, they told me, nah, 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 nah. I'm finna run a part two. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Part two coming up. Bye.